Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your guy, Dan Tanner, the bad boy of tech, and this is another iPhone tutorial. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, this tip right here is going to help a lot of people because there's a lot of people out there who's coming from Android to iPhone. And on Android, it's very customizable and everything, and it's easy to disable apps that you don't use that get in your way and hog up a lot of data in the background. But guess what? I found out how to do it on the iPhone. So enough of me yapping. It's time to make it happen. Let's go. Now let's say you want to disable the Safari browser app and the wallet app. Because with Safari, you're probably using something like Google Chrome or another browser. So you have no use for it. And the wallet app, well, it's just irrelevant to you. Well, let me show you how to disable the apps. Here we go. It's very simple. Go to the settings menu. Go down to where it says screen time. Select that. Then on the next page, you're going to see this right here. But you want to go ahead and select content and privacy restrictions. Like so. Then on the next page, you want to select allowed apps. Right there. Click on that. And there you'll see a list of apps and everything that you can't delete from the phone, but you can disable them. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that a relief? So right now we're going to do Safari, disable, and the wallet app, disable. It's just that simple. Now let's go back to the home screen and see what happened. Scroll over to the page. They're not there anymore. They're not running and they're out of your way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, everybody, if you found this tip helpful, please give your guy a thumbs up. I surely appreciate it. All right, fam, catch you on the next one. Be easy. <laughs>